It's Ricky Rick on the I can confuse the co-ops and yeah. you We got the juice yeah. this day every school We, we talk, talk about sports and that daily report ball. Make a big plays in the field on, on the court Feel my eyes when we coming up short Now nah, nah. that's I find out we even the score 8 a.m. when we walk, walk to the in. door A's and B's 100 galore Hey Hornets, it's your girl Paris And I'm Zay And this is your weekly update PTCPS Distance Learning Parent Support Meetings will be held on Mondays and Wednesdays from 5 to 8 p.m. To schedule your appointment, simply go online or call the number 240-696-3315. Two days ago, the third quarter progress support grades were released to students online. <laughs> Hopefully your parents didn't take your phones away. What are you looking at me for? I'm just saying. Okay, teachers, listen up. On Wednesday of next week, all staff must report back to the building to prepare their classrooms for in-person learning. Cody, get to the building. Monday, March 29th to Monday, April 5th is spring break. Well, what are you guys going to do for your spring break? Me personally, I already know what I'm going to do. And that's going to keep up with my gym regimen. You know, it's a lot going into working out. You got to eat right. I go to the gym seven days a week. It's a whole lot to it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm getting way off topic. Way, way off topic. <laughs> but anyway, spring break coming up at you in a few weeks. April 8th is the first day of school for SPED students of all grade level in the class of 2021 who opted to come in back to the building. Have fun. All other students come back Thursday, April 15th. Once again, I'm Paris. And I'm Sir, and this was your weekly update. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on Instagram. Have a great day from a height. Last week, in celebration of Women's History Month, we talked about Kamala Harris, the Vice President of the United States. Continuing our celebration, today we're going to talk about Malala Yousafzai, a Pakistani activist for female education. Malala was born in Mingora, Pakistan in 1997, during a time when a Sunni Islamic terrorist group, the Taliban, had control over the country. At its prime, the Taliban stood to overthrow the Pakistan government and waged a terrorist campaign against the Pakistan armed forces and state. When the Taliban gained power, they banned girls and women from employment and schooling, among other things. Despite the education ban, Yusufzai still attended school along with several other girls in her village. On October 9, 2012, when Malala was just 15 years old, she was on her way home from school when two Taliban militants boarded her bus. One asked for Malala's name and shot her in the head. Severely wounded, Malala was treated in several hospitals between Pakistan and the United Kingdom. Miraculously, she suffered no neurological damage and was able to recover after groundbreaking surgery. After recovery, she made it a mission to advocate for girls' education. In 2013, Malala, along with her father Ziauddin Yousafzai, created the Malala Fund. The purpose of the organization is to ensure safe, free, and quality education for girls around the world. Through the organization, Malala has helped girls all over the world attain education and instilled hope in many, many more. Malala was rewarded for her efforts in 2014, becoming the youngest recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize at just age 17. Malala graduated from Oxford University in 2020 and is now more ready than ever to get every girl in education. Even when faced with a life or death situation, Malala stood for her cause and advocated heavily for equal rights in academia. What's up, Hornet family? I'm Jamal. And I'm Temple, and this is your sports report. Hey, yo, Temp, why don't you get us started with talking about All Star Weekend? Folks, folks! All right, y'all, let's get into this All Star Weekend, which is really an All Star Day. The NBA decided to switch things up and cram all four events into one evening, kicking things off with the skills competition. The Montez Sabonis, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, 
easily rose over his opponents to take that victory home. Next was the three-point contest, and the three-point king himself reminded us why he's the greatest of all time. Stephen Curry scored an impressive 31 points and scored a clutch three-pointer at the end to walk away with that victory. During the halftime show of the All-Star Game, there was a dunk contest. Anthony Simons from Portland did just enough to take that victory. And last, we have the All-Star Game itself. Team LeBron, non-surprisingly, rose over Team Durant for 170 to 150, especially saying that Durant wasn't even playing. Giannis Antetokounmpo scored 35 points with an impressive 16 for 16 shooting and walked away with the MVP award. Yes, it was a unique All-Star day, but it was great. Okay, but Jamal, you see my boy Steph, though, with the three-point contest? Y'all already know, y'all already know. All right. I already know, man. Even, right. even Lillard and him was going back and forth in the game, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. All right, but we already know we got to talk about it, so why don't you guys tell me about these Wizards? I got you. The Wizards beat the Clippers in their rematch against them right before All-Star break. They also lost to the Grizzlies again two days ago in Memphis. Bill had an off night, and the team in general was just struggling to score. They also got out-rebounded, which led to a 127-112 to defeat. Double for Morant, 21 and 10. For Morant, his eighth double-double of the season. Valanciunas and one! They take on the 76ers tonight and the Bucks tomorrow. That's a tough back-to-back, -to -back, Wiz kids. Let's see what y'all can do. A temp though, at least Bradley Bill got to do his thing in the All Star game. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But, but did you hear about this Blake Griffin move? Oh my goodness! It's greatness. A lot of people thought the Brooklyn Nets would do damage pairing Kyrie with KD. They also acquired James Harden a few months back, and we saw a brand new big three emerge. Now, six-time All Star forward Blake Griffin is signed with the Brooklyn Nets for the remainder of the season. The team announced this this past Monday. We polled the Hornet community to see if you guys thought that this move will give the Nets the crown of the East. 71% of you guys feel like the Nets is going to the finals, and you know what I'm saying? I do too. Hey, yo, Tim, what's going on with these Hornet sports? Man, let me tell you all about it. Here's what we know about Hornet sports. The spring season is officially on. This means baseball, softball, lacrosse, track, and tennis. Athletes must have a 2.0 GPA from second quarter report card. Fall sports is currently conditioning and this will last until March 26th and winter sports is conditioning virtually. All right, y'all, that's all we got for you today. I'm Temple. I'm Jamal, and this was your sport for 